The bill was introduced in Congress yesterday aimed at expanding cooperation between the U.S. and Israel on creating or aiding sustainability projects in developing countries. This is done through the organization's U.S. Aid and Israel's Mashav programs. Now, it's a bipartisan initiative that's sponsored by Florida Democratic Representative Lois Frankel and the Virginia GOP Congressman Joe Wilson. Now, this is a side of U.S.-Israel cooperation that really doesn't get a lot of notice or media coverage, but maybe it should, which is why Mike Wagenheim spoke with Representative Frankel about it. Congresswoman Lois Frankel, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. A new bill that you just introduced together with your Republican counterpart, Joe Wilson, a U.S.-Israel cooperative effort to extend it and broaden it. But it's not just the U.S. and Israel. It extends to other countries as well. Can you tell us a little bit about it? First of all, United States and Israel, we have shared a very special relationship. Well, in fact, we celebrated the 75th year of that relationship uh, with Israel's birthday this year. And uh, we, so we are partnering together as, with our resources and with especially with Israel's technology and advancements uh, to help underdeveloped countries in areas such as agriculture and energy and water storage. And uh, so uh, we've had this program uh, has been uh, in progress for a couple of years now. It's now time to what we call reauthorize the law that allows it. And uh, Joe Wilson, uh, bipartisan, together we have filed a new bill that will reauthorize the program. And the way it expands it is to take a look at uh, the uh, some of the other countries uh, that uh, can work with us on the projects. This bill and, and, and the program and the way it's been used in the past, we talk about things like missile defense. Those are for mutually <laughs> beneficial for U.S. and Israel. But right. when we talk about this kind of program, it's combining the two powers, know-how and technology and partnership to benefit the likes of Albania when it comes to greenhouse technology, Guatemala but when it comes to drip irrigation that helps their coffee production. So this is right. really a, a global impact that this type of, of program has. Where do you see um, uh, other countries uh, coming into play here that, that might be able to benefit from this? Well, specifically, we want to expand the effort and include some of the countries in the Abraham Accord. And it's really to strengthen uh, Israel's relationship with those countries. It's a very common sense principle. The more people work together and get to know each other, the better the opportunity to like each other and to help each other, especially economically. And this kind of legislation uh, and these efforts not only help developing countries with some issues, but it fosters goodwill. And that's really a part of this whole program because there's so much anti-Semitism around the world. and. Israel gets blamed for this and for that. And uh, I think their technology, their expertise, how much they've done to really help the world in healthcare and agriculture and energy and water storage and so forth uh, is really not known. And so uh, by having these projects, some large, some small around the world, I think it does foster goodwill, both for Israel and the United States. 